on two of Now, before we get into the exchanging of vows, allow me to issue a solemn reminder of the importance of your dedication to these vows. The Bible says in Numbers chapter 30, verse 2, If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. If you, Jay, and you, Heinz, are willing to accept these roles and responsibilities and become husband and wife, believing that it is God's will for you to do so, will you please join hands? <clears throat> Jay, are you willing to have this woman as your lawful wife? Will you honor her and keep her in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. Heinz, are you willing to have this man as your lawful husband? Will you honor him and keep him in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him as long as you both shall live? Then if you, Jay, have freely and willingly offered yourself to, to Heinz to be her husband, would you repeat after me to Heinz the following promises, please? I, Jay. I, Jay. Take thee, Heinz. Take thee, Heinz. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better and for worse. From better or to worse. For richer and for poorer. For and for richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. And from sickness and from health. To love and to cherish. And to love and to cherish. And forsaking all others. And forsaking all others. Will keep myself. Will keep myself. Only unto thee. Only unto thee. Until death do us part. Unto death do us part. Jay, do you have anything that you'd like to add to these traditional vows? I do. Um, Heinz Rivera, I vow to not only build a healthy family, but I vow to always be there for you, not just as a husband, but as a soldier. I vow to always make it home. I vow to always love you. I vow to always sacrifice for not just you, but for our family. Thank you, Jay. <clears throat> then if you, Heinz, have freely and willingly offered yourself to Jay to be his wife, would you repeat after me to Jay the following promises, please? I, Heinz. I, Heinz. Take thee, Jay. Take thee, Jay. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, cherish, and obey. To love, cherish, and obey. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Will keep myself. Will keep myself only unto thee. Only unto thee. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Heinz, do you have anything that you'd like to add to these traditional vows? I do. To my husband. When I met you, I had no idea how much my life about to be changed. But then, how could I have ever known a love like ours happens once in a lifetime? You are a godsend to me, the one who was everything I had ever hoped, the one I thought existed only in my imaginations. When you came into my life, I realized that what I had always thought was happiness couldn't compare to the joy loving you brought me. You are a part of everything I think and do and feel. With you by my side, I believe that anything is possible. Because of you, I laugh and smile, and I dare to dream again. And thank you for loving the parts of me that are not easy to love, turning the pages gently, and helping me rewrite a happy ending. Thank you for a miracle of you. You are and always will be the love of my life. Today, I give myself to you in marriage. I will love you, cherish, and hold you in the highest regard. I will support you and comfort you through life's joy and sorrow. I will encourage you, inspire you, and be honest and faithful to you. I will stand by your side in sickness and in health. These things I give to you today and all the day of our life. Thank you, Heinz. Jay, would you take up the Bible, please? And would you hold that right in between the two of you? And would you both put your right hand on top of the Bible? By exchanging these vows, you are entering into a covenant with one another. This covenant is like a spiritual cord binding you together for life. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 12 says that a threefold cord is hardly broken or is hard to break. Jay and Heinz, if you make and keep the Lord the central figure of your relationship, your marriage will become a threefold matrimonial cord.
preserved by the power and grace of God, never to be broken. Let it be so, Lord Jesus. May I have the Bible, please? Thank you, Lord. Jay, is there a token to show your love for Heinz? Yes. Thank you, Jay. This token is a ring. Without a beginning or an end to the band, it is a, a symbol of unconditional and unending love. And the love of a husband for his wife should be based on the model love that Christ has for his church. And that love of Christ, the deep, abiding, selfless, unconditional love of Jesus, is the basis for the symbolism portrayed by this ring. Listen to what the Bible says in Romans 5 8. But God commended or demonstrated his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus Christ was crucified. He, he died, was buried, and rose again the third day. Through his sacrifice, he provided the payment for the penalty of the sins of all mankind. Wow, what an incredible love. We are talking about the basis for the symbolism of this reign. In John chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible again speaks of that love. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And Jay and Heinz, being born-again believers in Jesus Christ, it is their desire as bride and groom that everyone here today receive the love of Christ through his gift of salvation. Dear friend, dear listener, Please know that if we will confess to God that we are sinners, if we will turn from our sin to Christ, if we will call upon him through prayer, and by faith receive him as our Savior, we can receive the precious gift of eternal life in heaven. If there be anyone here that has not yet received Christ as your personal Savior, and become the beneficiary of that great love, then please let today be the day that you do so. And if you do take that step of faith here today, and put your trust in Christ for salvation, please share that with the bride and the groom before you leave. And it will help make what is already a very special day for them even more special and memorable. Jay, your love for Heinz should be based on the model love of Christ, and that love is pictured by this ring. You may place the ring on her finger. Heinz, is there a token to show your love for Jay? Thank you. This token is also a ring, but it's it's not it's not as ornate. It's nice, but it's not dainty. This ring is, I don't know if you can tell from where you're sitting, but this ring is thick. It's sturdy, not unlike Jay. It accurately pictures the role of stability that you, sir, are to fulfill for your wife. You may place the ring on, on his finger. Jay and Heinz will now bring the flames of their respective candles together in the lighting of the unity candle, which symbolizes the union of two hearts. Two lives, two families. As the flame of your candles now burn as one, it symbolizes the unifying warmth of your love for one another and for God. And just as the flame of this unity candle emits light, as you now become one, may your Christian testimony shine brightly to the glory of God unto those around you in this exciting new season of life. Jay and Heinz, having exchanged these vows and promises before God and these witnesses, as a preacher of the gospel, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Man put asunder. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. J. Viscocha. Let's bow for a closing prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, thank you for your blessing upon our time together thus far. We pray for your continued blessing upon the remainder of our time together today. But Lord, even more importantly, we pray for your blessing to be upon the marriage relationship to come. Father, would you help Jay and Heinz to continue to grow in grace and in their knowledge of Jesus? Would you help them to grow closer to you and to one another? Lord, thank you again for your goodness to us and to them. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 At this time, the bridal party may be seated, and we will have a speech by the maid of honor, followed by the best man. Hello, everybody. I'm Susanna. I'm the maid of honor. I just want to start off by thanking all of you for coming and being part of Heinz and Jay's very special day. Um, Heinz, we might have not known each other for very long, but I'm thankful that 
you guys so close over the past year. I'm happy to have a sister like you. Um, Jay, you're one of the most helpful and thoughtful, funniest person I've known. And thank you for loving kind the way that you do. Um, I'm so happy for the both of you. Congratulations. Um, may your marriage be filled with love, laughter, happy memories, and hopefully twin babies soon. <laughs> thank you. Um, first and foremost, um, I want to thank God for His Son Jesus Christ to have this opportunity to be standing here. Of course, um, I just want to say today, brothers and sisters, we have gathered here today to share a very special moment of uh, event um, between Jay and Heinz. Uh, I just want to say I feel very, very special to be part of Jay and Heinz's life. Not only because they are family, but because they remind me to trust God's plan for my life. And I've seen that in both of them. I'm so happy to see my brother Jay, who had finally found someone who's going to love him, support him, and somebody he can finally fully trust with his whole being. Um, and as well as Heinz, she has finally found somebody who's going to um, cook papaitan with her, <laughs> cook adobo, kare kare, and, you know, one of Jay's favorite, I'll never forget, in a bed, brother, so what? <laughs> you know, see? I love them, I mean, um, but most importantly, she, Heinz has already found somebody who's going to cry with her, carry her when she's down, respect her love her, support her, who will make her smile hopefully every single day. <laughs> yeah, hopefully every single day. Well, you know, uh, I really don't want to say much, but I want to expose my brother Jay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I prepared for this. Yeah. No, you did. Yes, sir. All right. I want to expose him of how hard he really works. Like, that's, that's, that's really real. Jay used to be my coworker, and I have never seen anybody who does five things at the same time. I can only do two things at the same time, but this guy, to God be the glory, he does five things at the same time. And I really, um, I've seen that in him. You know, um, despite of the things that he went through in his life, I knew he could do it. And he believed in himself, he never gave up. And then that's the reason why I'm so happy and so blessed to be standing here, being encouraged by Heinz and Jay, because I'm seeing it with both of them. But there's not that of respect, bro. Like, you really work really, really hard. It makes me emotional because it's genuine. And thank you. Um, again, lastly, you know, you know me, my brother. I can't say this without saying this, but may the Lord Jesus Christ Provide for you all your needs. May he protect you both from any harm and danger. And I just want to say, I love you, my brother and my sister. Awesome. Made of honor, best man. Thank you guys so much. Um, I think this is my time to really thank the people that I want to thank personally before we wrap things up and have pastors say grace for food. First things first, I want to thank God. Couldn't have done this without him. Number two is actually a little bit emotional for me because it's, it's my bread and butter. Um, mom and dad, you guys really set the tone for me. Um, especially, um, I want to thank my mom personally. I can recall three years ago, and I hate to get personal, but please bear with me. I remember only having $200 in my bank account, um, trying to find an apartment as a young adult. I felt so lost, felt like, what am I gonna do now? I remember, that, that exact day when I knocked on my parents' door, I hadn't seen them for almost about five years. If I were to tell myself on that day where I would be today, I wouldn't believe it at all. And I almost forgot what it meant to have love from a mother. You may not be my birth mom, but you've always been a mom to me, mom. And when I felt like even though you weren't my mom, you always made me feel included. And for my dad, you always set a good example for me. The same year that I joined the National Guard, it was the exact same year you joined ACF. I always felt like I looked up to you, and I still do today, that I never thought I would ever be a soldier, especially to be your second son, to really serve his country. You've always been my hero. Every time I hug you, it's, it's the same cologne. I wear, I wear the same one, exact one today. It's cliche, but every time I look in the mirror, I always see my dad's face. Dad, I just want to thank you for always showing me, not, not just as a Christian, but as a man, to never give up. We, we may feel like we can do many good things today and feel like we don't stand a chance or even a percentage in front of God to be asked if we can go to heaven. But every time I see my dad getting involved with kids, with my siblings, with the church, that I pay attention to all of that. The way you stay busy, the way you can 
be part of the group and really stand out and use your voice. I think that's why, as a Biscocho, as your son, I really look up to you and Grandpa. Makes me feel like I can join any group, band, crew, whatever the, whatever the young kids use nowadays. But you can stand out. Thank you guys so much. I love you both. And for the third, the, the third people I want to thank is the church, Pastor Randy, and the crew. Without you guys today, this doesn't even happen. I really don't have anybody. Not, I wouldn't want to call you friends. You guys are family. And for the people who are here as, as guests, as you see, not too many people that I really talk to. But for the ones that made it here today, I really want to call out Dave. I remember, um, he's like my other dad. He's one of my godfather, and I just want to uh, let him know. I'll always never forget what you taught me. Um, it was, life's about choices. You always, make, you always repeated that many times, life's about choices. We can feel like we're doing the right thing, but even when you're doing the right thing, it's easy to slip through the cracks. I want to thank Kim in the back. I'm glad you made it. Um, Kim, you're always family. Thank you for everything, and super happy that you made it here. Again, the guests, the crew, parents, church, pastor, none of this happens. Aunties, uncles, and also, how can I forget? Forgive me. Um, I want to thank Kelly and Luke. Those are uh, another godparents that we had, that were able to make it today. I also want to be able to thank my auntie Gloria. She was supposed to be here. Anton was another um, of the godparents that were supposed to be here. Even though they're not here, they're still here, right in here. But of course, at last, before I wrap things up and we have good food and Pastor says grace, I want to thank Heinz Biscocho for always dealing with me, even though there are times I know I'm right. <laughs> there are times I know I'm right, but I still say, all right, let's see what you got. And it, it's exactly what she tells me. Sorry, man, we should have done it your way. Exactly. Thank anyway, thank you, church. I appreciate everyone I made today. Thank you, everyone. I want to give you just a few words of instruction regarding the meal and how we will progress from here, and then we'll, we'll say grace. Uh, in a few moments, the bridal party is going to come up here for pictures, uh, at which time uh, the guests will go and get in the food line, and we will be able to get our food and then.